Hello everyone, today I'm working on a Manitou Lock ice machine and according to the customer it's freezing up the coil. So as you can see here the curtain is kind of stuck open. We have a thick sheet of ice. So let's just go down in the bin here and let's see what kind of ice we've been making. Uh, they said the ice has been very poor, been very thick, they can't even break it apart. And as you can see, that's just a block of ice. So that points us towards a potential ice thickness probe fault. But let's just pull it up here. E19, 25 times. It's on the date that I'm on. So we probably have a bad ice thickness probe. And then we get these water faults, but these usually will come together with that ice thickness probe. So I pulled out the probe. Um, it's looking pretty brand new. This is a warranty call, but I did call the factory pop a new one in now if you look there really closely we're in harvest there's a countdown to harvest i'll try to slow it down at the bottom of the screen time to harvest that should never happen okay so we're going to go through our settings here and right there turn on off active sense that should not be in any of the menus so let's go ahead with a software update here you will need a very specific size usb um, you can get that when you go to the Manitou Lock training. They usually give you that. So we've completed our software update and now we go there and that setting is no longer there. So we're good. So we had a couple funny things going on. That may have been the cause. So now we're in a harvest. 30 seconds in. Ice is starting to separate nicely from the coil here. Nice and uniform. This machine is super clean. Uh, the machine's in great shape. And we're just going to finish up our harvest. We're at 50 seconds here. We're no longer getting that time to harvest countdown or count up, whatever you want to call it. All right. And our ice is about to separate from the evaporator coil. And bang, look at that. We made some perfect ice here. We are good to go. All right, so I'm back two days later and I got a call back. They're getting thick ice again. So what's happening is we're in a harvest right now. It's showing curtain open. So what's happening is on my first batch of ice, we went into harvest for only one second. And then it showed that the curtain was open. Now it made a second batch of ice and it's showing once again, curtain open. Okay, so now that it's on the second batch of ice, it can't remove it from the coil, but it's just enough to kick open the curtain. And look at that, we're on bin full. We're on bin full because the curtain is open. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to try to explain what just happened. I didn't get the video of it. Um, it was a super intermittent problem. I'm grateful that I caught it in the moment. But let's just go over how we make ice. So we start making ice here as water comes onto the coil. The ice starts growing, okay? Once it gets to this ice thickness probe, here and it sends like a, it sends like an audio sound but just for the sake of uh, to make this as easy as possible once it makes contact with our ice thickness probe here it will go into a harvest once we go into the harvest we have our curtain right here we have a little magnet here and then we have our reed switch right here okay so these two are are touching when the curtains closed Okay, as the ice comes off of the coil, it will open the curtain and then the magnet will no longer make contact with this reed switch right here. So now we have an open situation. Once that happens, it knows the harvest is done. So what was happening was, as soon as I got my signal here, this curtain was going to open in one second. So obviously one second is not enough to drop ice off of that coil. As soon as it goes to an open signal, it went back to a closed signal on the curtain, which tells it to start a second cycle. So what happens now on the second cycle? This ice thickness now becomes this thick. What was happening was this ice here was so thick that it was opening up this curtain and the curtain was staying in the open position. If our curtain stays in the open position for X amount of time, it will go to bin full. So that's why I never got a harvest fault because we never got to the three and a half minutes because it thought the bin was full with the curtain open. 
Now, what would have been good and what would have helped me tremendously is if there was a minimum harvest time of let's say one or two seconds. So if the machine's in a harvest and it comes out of harvest in like two seconds, that should flag an error. All right, so let's go into our data history here and we're gonna pull up our max freeze 35 minutes. That's obviously way too long, but look at our minimum harvest one second. Look at that. That means that curtain's opening up right away. And then if we go back another day and we go to minimum harvest, 43 seconds. So the previous day it was working. So now you're seeing intermittent problem. And then now we go here and we go max freeze, 35 minutes. That's way too long. So I know there's issues that day. Look at that, three seconds the curtain was opening up. Very intermittent problem. So we're gonna go ahead here and replace our read switch. And I've replaced it. It's right there in the corner. Pretty easy to change. And we're gonna go check our screen. And we're in closed position. And I'm gonna pull the curtain. Now we're in open. And I'm gonna repeat this five or six times just to make sure the new read switch is working. And now we are into a harvest cycle. 30 seconds in. We did not get that premature harvest again this time. But like I said, it's an intermittent issue. And it's dropping off. Look at that ice, nice and uniform. 46 seconds and bang, look at that perfect ice. All right, so my initial thought process was that this ice thickness probe was bad. We had all the faults in there. They're from the previous day. And I did call the factory because we need to call them to verify. They were in agreement, swap it out. Had one in my truck, no issues. Uh, we got called back two days later. So what I think was happening was the ice was coming here. We were getting our one second harvest and then it started making more ice in here. And the probe was probably seeing water, you know, within a couple seconds or a minute and it was probably throwing all these faults. So it's possible that ice thickness probe was bad. Um, for sure it was this reed switch. Now I've never had that specific error not be the ice thickness probe. So going forward, I will go back in that log to see if we have any harvest issues and more specifically, if we have any harvests that are one or two or three seconds. But lesson learned, we're all good. Customers back up and running. Um, I did follow up a couple of days later and then a week later. And at this point it's been over a month. So issue resolved, we're all good.